Here is the 2024 BMW iX M60 in dark graphite, metallic over stone gray microfiber and fabric inserts. This is the BMW SAV I and you have been waiting for. 185 pound feet of torque more, 96 horsepower more than the standard iX. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides and I'm gonna go over the exterior specs what you're getting with this electric motor, the interior design, take it for a drive, talk about some pros and cons in different comparable vehicles. This is the same 111.5 lithium ion battery pack that is on the base model. So when I'm saying you're getting that increase, that is crazy what BMW is doing. It's like the mad scientist went to work underneath the hood here because we don't receive a frunk. So you're not gonna be able to see what's underneath here. Standard LED headlamps, daytime runnings that goes into the self-healing kidney grill, which is very unique because if you leave it outside, BMW has said within around 14 to 24 hours, small rock chips and different little dings that's just in this area here, will heal itself. The lower part gets an active grill shutter and the side air curtains. Dynamics, 47.5, 52.5 weight distribution. So you have some maneuverability and this thing weighs just a touch under 5,800 pounds. Two axle air suspension, upgraded 22 inch air performance bicolored wheel. Standard is a 21 inch aero bicolor. And underneath the hood, 610 horsepower, 749 pound-feet of torque. You're getting 78 MPGEs for the city, 82 MPGEs for the highway with the range at 296 miles, charging with a 240 volt or a level two. It's going to take about 11 hours. But because you're getting a zero to 60 at 3.6 seconds, I'm going to disqualify being upset that it takes a little bit longer to charge and you're gonna get a little bit less range. But the fun factor is still encased in the BMW, which when you're talking 749 pound-feet of torque on a SUV, that's a near 50-50 weight distribution. So when you're putting all this in your head, this is one of those wow vehicles. LED tail lamps start us off with the M60 badging. Aluminum space frame with carbon core technology includes the exposed carbon fiber reinforcement plastic side frame and on the rear. Drag reducing diffuser, quick charge up to 80 is gonna take about 35 minutes. Towing for the iX standard is at 5,500 pounds. Power to lift gate or kick to open going into 35.5 cubic feet of storage. To put the rear bench down, you can do it electronically. LED interior lightings in the area here that you can put for bottles. Underneath, you have storage that you can fit your charger. A little bit more storage right here, and it'll fold out. Because of the privacy cover being hard and it closes off the actual cargo capacity, we have a emergency lever to get out of the trunk. Split fold the rear bench in the back at a 40-20-40 split that will increase the cargo to 77.9 cubic feet. Some more of the exposed carbon fiber plastics. Going inside the iX, 16-way power seat adjustment for both the driver and passenger, heated, ventilated, massage, and memory seats. It is a circular dash with fabric inlays, and I do like how it's perforated up top, and then it goes into the soft materials down low. You get more of a gold inlays on the air vents and in the center it's going into the driver's side. Two spoke leather wrap steering wheel configured for the iX multi-function adaptive cruise control lane keep assist and the stocks. The push button start right here we go. 14.9 has navigation with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming, Bluetooth audio, 5G capabilities. My driving mode selects, so you have your personal sport, which will adjust the bolstering for the seats. The driver digital cluster can go through an array of information, including the AR. You can have different content in there. 
You can also do the same thing for the heads up display. The key fob for the IX, the wood inlays that is touch sensitive with the glass controls, wireless charging pad, USB 12 volt in the cup holders. And it's going to be the fabric, so it's nice and soft that opens up into a bit of a storage compartment. It's pretty deep, so you can fit your whole arm down in there. It's just not so wide. Headroom at 42 inches, legroom at 40.2 inches. It is a wide and open footwell for the front occupants. Door panels do configure into the dashboard, push to get in and out. Ambient lighting starts on the top of the door panels and all soft materials. The memory seats, one touch up and down for all of the windows and a long storage pocket with a beverage holder in the front. And the passenger side receives an area that they can put their phone in the door panel, which is another area right here too. For the back seats, headroom at 39.5 inches, legroom at 38.9 inches, with storage behind both of the front seats, a USB and a connector here for any iPad or Android. Dual climate control settings and the air vents in the center. The fabric comes into play with the cup holders in the center and the door pocket has an air vent right next to it with the ambient lighting that starts off and all that soft materials comes into the back with the Bauer and Wilkins sound system and a storage pocket with the beverage holder in the front. Moving to the center, closing this up, easy slide, and feet space is not going to be an issue, nor is leg space. But in shoulder space should be good because of how wide the vehicle is, and headroom for the center occupants is just as good, if not better, because of the way the vehicle is. It's more oval, therefore giving more space in the center. 610 horsepower, 749 pound-feet of torque. Let's do a little launch control here. Oh, God! Whoa! That is insane, the power you get. Launch control, that just screams to me. My God! That was a lot of power. Like, I could not lift my head off the head rest. So we're gonna reactivate the launch control again. Here we go. It's like a video game. The thing just takes off. The soundtrack you get in the interior is phenomenal. A near 50-50 weight distribution so you can have nothing but fun with this. Oh my God, this is... This has got to be the best electric BMW out. What you're getting for a vehicle that's just a little bit over $110,000 is a whoa factor. Forget about a fun factor. I mean, it definitely changes the whole dynamic of the drive. When you're looking at the exterior of the vehicle, you're thinking, ah, you know, maybe it's a soccer mom vehicle. No, this thing is ready for the track at the performance levels that it's going at. Now, obviously, that's gonna take me to some pros and cons. So we're gonna start off with what I like. When you activate that launch control, you feel it so much in your chest, it is unbelievable. 749 pound-feet of torque. It's insane what they're doing with this 111.5 lithium-ion battery. Because, yeah, I'm losing a little bit of range because I'm not getting 300. And yeah, I'm gonna lose about two to four MPGEs. But man. The excitement that you get is so much better in the M60 than the standard IX. Now to show you just the regular push without a launch control. <laughs> it's still fun, but man, it's a lot more fun when you do launch control on an M60. Some other things I like about the vehicle is you don't have to sacrifice and go into a sedan. A lot of people want SUVs, so you can do that with this. Five occupants can fit without any issues. A lot of cargo space. It's basically an X5 electrified. You can option an IX, but that's going to be 
probably about 50 grand more than this. So what you're getting with performance numbers and MPGEs, you gotta take that in consideration. It is harder to drive this vehicle normal, especially after you play with the performance because that G-Force, it just becomes addictive. And that's what happens with BMWs. When you go into performance with the weight distribution at a vehicle that's near 6,000 pounds, I mean, wow. That's really what I can say. Some cons about the vehicle or some dislikes about it is the self-driving. The semi-autonomous driving is not the best. You get maybe 20, 25 seconds of free driving in the sense that it's taking care of you. But when you're over a hundred grand, it would be nice to see it over two minutes or so. And the only reason why I say this is because it's a full electric vehicle. Me personally, I don't really care about the feature because I'm a type of person that likes to drive and play with the dynamics of the car. Even if I'm on a long journey, I'll set the adaptive cruise control, but I'm still engaged. Some other things I dislike, the back seats, you cannot recline them, you can't change any of the positions, but they electronically fold. It would be nice to integrate that so you can recline the seats back and really enjoy. And let me show you some of these dynamics real quick. Look, this is just on Eco. I'm already going enough speed. We'll just put it at that. Other disadvantages is it's so freaking fast that you will get a speeding ticket. So you wanna just kind of put it in an adaptive cruise control where it drives for you so you don't have to pay that massive ticket or lose your license because it's going to be that way when you're going that much faster in this vehicle. Comparing this to the base IX, 185 pound feet of torque more, over 90 horsepower more. It doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, you can really feel a difference driving this. It's still quiet and composed. This is 22 inch wheels. So everything about this vehicle doesn't make sense. And yet it's a performance variant that I personally enjoy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Check out the next video, merchandise website, leave a comment and a like. And I'd like to thank BMW of Wesley Chapel for giving us this 2024 BMW iX M60 for our car review. But before you change, but before you check that next video, let's do some harder brakes. Well, I got regenerative brakes on. Here we go. And turn radius. Got two lanes. This is normal mode. Nothing crazy. And just to give you the ending, I love that exhaust note that filters in. So futuristic. Listen to it. <laughs> it's crazy. It's going to knock me out. That's how much power you got. <laughs>